Welcome to another Cadence Tech video. Uh, this is going to be an overview of the XAM 400.2. Uh, this is the owner's manual that comes with the unit. Uh, this amplifier is going to be 125 watts uh, by 2 at 4 ohms and uh, 200 watts at, at by 2 at 2 ohms. Uh, the amplifier comes with uh, two basic stuff. This is the high level input jack here and also this is going to be uh, your um, uh, your Allen keys and also uh, mounting screws. So, with that said, let's get ourselves an amplifier out. Uh, it's a straightforward two channel, uh, nothing uh, in particularly uh, uh, crazy about it. It's straight, you know, simple and straightforward. Um, on the input side of things here, uh, you're looking at uh, 12 volt remote and ground. Uh, these are an A gauge. Um, connection. This is a 40 amp single out of outboard 40 amp fuse and of course your connection for speaker levels. Uh, you can bridge this amplifier or run it in stereo however you wish to do. The input side of uh, uh, high level input, I meant uh, low level inputs along with high level input and what this does for us is in the high level inputs if we use that we can use the auto smart turn on circuit which means that if I use the high level inputs I can put it in the auto start circuit I don't need a remote turn on this so amplifier will auto start itself. Uh, you have a simple status light indicator here. This will be either red or green. Green means go, red means stop. Uh, alrighty, on the controls. Okay. Oh, here is your input level attenuation circuit. Uh, this is going to have a low pass, a full range, and a high pass uh, for setting for you know for setting a crossover settings. You have a high pass from 50 to 150, low pass from 50 to 150, and a base boost of 12, uh, 0 to 12 dB of boost. Uh, here is also your level attenuation input circuit. Up maximum input is set at around about 7 volts. Uh, that is going to be the basic uh, overview of the Cadence XAM 400.2.